has truly made the takedown a thing of beauty in mixed martial arts with respect to yourself and George St. Pierre and the truly great takedown artists. This guy's closing the gap and, and entering that company in the eyes of men. Oh, absolutely, because he's done such a great job of timing takedowns. You didn't see, I haven't seen anyone so good at slipping a jab into a takedown since George St. Pierre. Right. He does a phenomenal job of getting from step one to step two before his opponent even realizes now he's in on my leg. And if they do get their hips back, immediately he's up into a foot sweep or a headlock or an inside trip. It's just so many different ways for him to get you to the floor that he will throw every single one at you every single time. And a lot of fighters talk about that wrestling maintenance and how hard it is, right, over the course of a career to continue to drill those things. He talks a lot about that, and that's why he's continued to realize success here in the U.S. Well, this is exciting here, DC. The founder of Jeet Kune Do, one of the founding fathers, really, of mixed martial arts. Bruce Lee is back in a big spot here tonight. Bruce Lee is what every kid looked to when they thought about doing karate. Bruce Lee is the person that anyone looked at when they said, I want to be a fighter. It was the speed. It was the charisma. It was the approach of Bruce Lee that made him so special. And tonight, he's going to look to show a new generation of fighters exactly how it's supposed to be done. And if you hear the phrase, drillers make killers, right? I mean, that was Bruce Lee in a nutshell. He felt like practice yes, would make yes. perfect. Nobody trained as hard as the great Bruce Lee. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, a referee in charge of the octagon, Eve Loving. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Bell Center in Montreal, Quebec, Canada. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 165 pounds. Fighting out of Columbus, Ohio, Iron. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Fighting out of Los Angeles, California, USA, Bruce the Dragon. Okay, protect yourself at all time, obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to play. So here we go with the start of round one. I can tell how excited you are for this matchup. Seems to be a striking advantage on one side, but maybe not. This is a big time fight. It feels like a big moment for both of these guys' career. Who is going to be able to implement their game plan the best in this matchup between these two big time athletes? Great kicks there. Oh, massive head kick there. We'll see if he can finish. Oh! Oh, left hook to the head, it's blocked. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Slips. He loaded up on that right hand, too. And lands an elbow on the inside. All right, so one minute into the fight, we've got a full-on brawl here, DC. It's great for the fans, not necessarily for the gas tank if this thing goes much longer. Not great for the gas tank and not good for the old Nazi. You can't take so many upside the head, somebody's going to sleep. Oh, here's a kick to the body, blocked, though, by Lee. 
Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the gentleman. Oh, that's a hell of a kick right there. He told us Thursday that he was going to be kick heavy tonight, and that is certainly a step in the right direction. He is landing that strike. He's very effective with it. Big powerful punch lands. Now he gets back to range. What a tricky head kick. Came of inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night at that landed. Drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. Lands the right hand. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Hey. Right punches there. All right, good job by him there to raise the guard and protect his head. He's doing a good job of keeping the guard high, blocking his head, making sure he's not taking those damaging strikes up top. Unable to connect with the right hand there. Nice strike. Nice. A little single collar tie there. Oh! Huge kick to the head. Gets hit with a kick here. That one landed flush. Let's see if he can make some adjustments. Oh, do you believe that another head kick lands? Got to start raising that guard or this is going to be the end of the fight. I mean, it's going to be the end of the fight. It's very surprising that he's even standing upright after taking such a bad shot. Straight punch lands. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively, protecting his head, raising the guard, and really frustrating the offensive fighter a little bit. Lesson one in boxing class, hands up, chin down. Oh, and he tags him with the straight, beautifully placed there by Lee. And they separate. Oh, beautiful jab by him there, got that to the target quickly. He's dictating the fight with a jab. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. And they separate. Goes upstairs for an elbow. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. Nice punch there. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Look at him flip his hip into that kick. Very tricky to throw that body kick. Nice head kick. Good punch land. Final seconds here of round one. Nice knee of the body there by Lee. That horn signifies the end of the round. Let's take us through some replays, champ. And the replays are going to be kicks. That's the story of this fight to this point. He is landing these kicks at will, just driving his shin into his opponent's legs, and it's really starting to slow him down. All right, we'll see how it goes here in this next round. A high number of kicks landed there in the previous round, and at some point, these are going to really start to take effect. They do start to take an effect whenever you're taking kick after kick after kick, and watching him fight with that knowledge and that patience shows his fight IQ. Yes, they heard him in the last round. Same exact one. Nice punch lands over the top. Nice job to land the kick to the body there by Lee. How good is that right hand? 
Oh, vicious kick to the outside of that lead leg. You gotta start checking you these, man. to check these kicks, or you're gonna be lip on the octagon very short. Check yourself before you wreck yourself. Check it, check it, check it. Beautiful body kick. And both guys really throwing with authority. And they separate. Big punch lands through the middle. Just misses with a left hook there. Big kick lands. Ooh. And he the guard, lands the right hand. Well, you gotta think he's happy with this performance here tonight. Essentially, just the way he drew it up, it's been a striking club. Right? It's like a fairy tale. He's doing everything he wanted to do, and his opponent isn't doing much to try and deter him and really mess with the game plan. Great punch landing with so much power. Back to the leg kick now. That one's no good. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Nice one, two there. Look at the force behind that leg kick. Try to establish that jab. Straight right hand counter. Liver kick. Oh, and he lands a punch there. Good connection by him on that. Great connect, so fast, so accurate. And watch the ability to land anywhere. Caught that. No, there's danger in that too because when you start reaching down to catch that kick, here comes the high kick. And here's a lot of trouble. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Lee gets the tie clinch here. Stuff the takedown, no problem. Well, his corner was pretty urgent after round one. A little bit lackluster there in that opening round. He has certainly picked up the pace here, and as a result, he has taken control of this second round. All right, so both fighters now sort of struggling for position here in the clinch. When you find yourself in this situation, what do you do to get out of it? Anytime it's very tough. Anytime you're chest to chest and you have nowhere to go, I think to myself, underhook. Whoever's winning the underhook is winning the clinch battle. Good stick. Over and over, he's landing these big body kicks. Kick to the body, that one blocked. It's such a fast leg kick. Bleeding from his cheek now. Oh, nice counter jab there. Good series of kicks by him there, DC. He has certainly found his range on the field. I mean, when you don't check, you're gonna continue to get blasted with kicks. His opponent has not deterred him from keeping on throwing those kicks. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Head kick attempt, that one is blocked. Oh man, head kick land. Nice punch land. Back and forth we go! And he landed the right hand there. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. Jab now again, the fighter of Ace. 20 seconds left. Now connects with the right. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Straight left counter is true. 10 minutes in the books. All right, that's the end of the round. And our cameraman all over that cut on the cheek. That thing is getting wider by the minute and only getting worse. Cut man gonna earn his money tonight. All right, let's check out some of the action now from that previous round. And he really kept finding a home for those kicks. Yeah, and why would you change it? If your opponent is not going to check, if he's gonna stand there and he's not on his toes and he's stationary, you keep driving those kicks into his thighs, into his body until he makes some sort of adjustment.
All right, so after he landed a high number of kicks in the previous round, we'll see if he can keep it going here as our next round gets underway. He should stay the course. He's so educated with his legs and his feet that he's given his opponent a very difficult time trying to anticipate what's coming his way. Nice head kick. Flush knee to the body. He's got the length advantage in this fight and certainly made it count in that exchange. Nice defense there, huge block. Well, most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. Back and forth we go here. Circling away towards the left now. All right, lands a kick there, pretty well done. Really good accuracy landing that kick. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Oh man, that cut is nasty. to the target there. Oh, there he goes, attacking that lead leg to the outside. Nasty kick there. Nasty leg kick. You gotta slow down your opponent. He knew his opponent wanted to move a lot tonight. This is the first step in getting him to slow down and fight at your pitch. Bonus checks ready. I mean, this fight is about done. He's got him hurt very bad with his head kick. Now he has to find one more strike to end the night. Oh! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Oh, he got a bad! That right hand hurt him a little bit. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. Crazy accuracy and efficiency with these ground and pound strikes here. And if you're the opponent, you gotta intelligently defend or the referee's gonna stop you. Gotta defend, but you can see him now starting to gain posture and the intensity at which he's throwing these ground strikes is starting to improve. It starts to elevate because he knows that he can get the finish. Volume strikes continue to rain down. His opponent pretty helpless there on the ground. His opponent is helpless. He's been hurt, he's been battered, he's been beat. And now this guy's trying to find the right time to land the strike that is the fight. Man, how fun is this to watch as he continues to dole out damage with the ground and pound? Take it back to the days of guys like Mark Coleman just beating people up in the ground and pound. This guy is a throwback fighter and he's very fun to watch. Yeah, the godfather would be proud. Well, he's in a compromising spot here, DC. You gotta figure out a way to get back to your feet. All right, he's sort of hanging out here unguarded, DC. Not sure if he's trying to bait him in or what, but not great body language here. All right, so he's landed some good shots. You hate to be overly critical, but nothing really in terms of combinations tonight. Well, the jab has been looking great. How about jab, jab, right hand? Right. Because eventually you're gonna have to put something on your opponent that's gonna really make him pause. I believe the jab has been working so well, if he drops a big right hand after it, he may be able to finish his fight. Liver kick, if you take those kicks, it's gonna shut your body off. that will finish the fight. All right, so you gotta be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't wanna mess around for too long. All right, so pretty good damage here with the ground and pound. Nothing superficial about these strikes. They are intending to harm. Oh yeah, he's landing very accurately, and he's landing to get damage off. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Gets up again here, but hurting. Man, striking class is in session. Beautiful punch there. Great job landing. What a damaging punch. That right hand landed. Kick 
to the body now. That one won't land. That's three rounds in the can. We're headed to the championship round. All right, let's now look back at some of the action from that round. He went head hunting, landed, nearly got the finish, too. A lot of coaches tell you don't head hunt. In this case, he's been head hunting, and he landed a big enough shot to truly put his opponent on notice. All right, so next round underway here, and you got to admire the stamina that both of these guys still exuded towards the end of that round. Both men put a particular focus on their cardiovascular commitment in this training camp, and it's clearly paid dividends here tonight. We have two legitimately fresh fighters. Oh! Another knee finds the target, so a huge moment here. Now we'll see if he can follow it up. Great punch. Oh, wicked nice leg kick there, DC. Can't take too many of those. Connects with a right. Well, if you're gonna leave your body that wide open, you're gonna pay the price, and he certainly did there as his opponent lands flush to the midsection. Just missed with the leg kick. Big leg kick lands. Oh, he continues to attack that bloody cheek. His face is a mess. Let's get some offense. Let's get... Lee gets caught with that punch. So a combination of kicks from him, and most of those found the target, DC. The kickboxing is on point tonight. He's so sharp, and he feels so good that he's throwing multiple kicks in a row. There's no tell on that leg kick. Takedown defense holds up, and they separate. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Real sneaky body kick. Trying to establish that jab once again. Well, that one should leave a mark. Outstanding leg kick employed there by Lee. Three minutes to go in the round. Well, this is exactly the sense of urgency you're looking for. Try to take the judges out of it. He is light him up now. Real quick leg kick. Well, one got through. That kick was blocked. Oh, that's a nice strike. Looking for that left hand, not there. What a body kick. Just a slip there. Going back to his patented kicks here, but unable to find the target there. Oh, an obvious limp there. His leg hurting for certain. Nice. You don't know when that leg is coming. Oh, nice right hand. Big kick. Leg kick. Oh. oh! Much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. You can really limit the mobility of your opponent with those leg kicks. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. 
Oh, and he continues to pour it on. We mentioned earlier the aggression with his striking. Got to be careful to not gas out here, but at least you have to admire the approach. Oh, and he lands another punch there, and you can tell at this point he is going right at that cut on his opponent. Right at the cut on the eye, just making sure he knows that I'm going to be targeting it. Keep your hands up, and when the hands go up, he will then change the target down low, trying to find finish. Nice straight punch. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Oh, man, how is he standing? Brutal knee to the body. Final seconds here. Man, it's time to shots nicely. It's like Tom Brady out there. He hasn't missed the target. I mean, you insist on bringing in Tom Brady. Stop it. John, stop it. All right, so there's the horn. He got knocked down by a punch in that round, but he is able to survive. We'll see if they can make some adjustments. He's as tough as they come. He took that shot, and he kept plodding forward. He got off of his butt. He got himself off of the canvas and tried to get right back to work. But he cannot take many more of these. You don't want to be the guy that's testing how tough that your chin is. The last round is winning the slugfest. That's the type of fight he wants. And let him think this last round is how it's going to go. Warm into a slug. You ready? You ready? Fifth and final round. sure how many more of these his opponent can take. Massive shot that he lands. Great job. Punches in bunches, and he hasn't really shown any signs of slowing down here tonight. I'm not sure how much more his opponent can take. That one's snuck in. Nice strike. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. And they separate. So nice back and forth action here. Just missing on the high kick there. Huge head kick lands. Another one lands right on the side of his head. Lee gets caught with that punch. He's treading water now. Got to find a way to move those feet. Look at him working and trying to shut the liver down. Serious swelling in and around that left eye. It's starting to close up now. Head kick. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Again, he's looking for that left. It's not there. Oh, that big knee, knee there. That knee hurt him. Just over three minutes now to go in the fight. I need you to pay attention. Oh, nice job defensively there to get the guard up. Shot is blocked by Lee. Big leg kick land. Well, he's got the kicking game going tonight. Lands another one there. A beautiful kick, and all I can think of, better him than me. I mean, he's cutting it down the side with this beautiful leg kick. Another powerful kick there. A lot of volume with the feet tonight for him. It's unbelievable to watch somebody make kicking the base of their fighting style. He has shown us that it's possible. And they separate. Gets caught with that punch. Not the easiest guy in the world to hit, but he got caught there. Beautiful body kick lands right under the elbow. Two minutes now to go in this one. Got a nice jab by him there, and that's going to give his opponent some problems if that keeps landing. He's having a tough time getting his offense going because that jab is just stopping him every time. He's got to be careful dipping his head when he's throwing that jab. Yeah. 
just unable to quite find that range. Way to hide it. World of trouble. Such a sneaky head kick. He did not recognize it was coming high. And now he's got him hurt bad. Straight right hand now just misses. Ooh, what a punch. One minute to go in the fight. They continue to exchange. Right hand punch to clinch. Visibly limping here. Leg kick. Oh, huge block! And they set. Thirty seconds to go. Twenty seconds to go in the fight. Slips. Oh, that straight punch is going to be a real pro. Oh, nice scramble by him there. Take down defense on. He is a master in chance. The final horn sounds. All right, so as we await the judges' scorecards, DC will look back at his handiwork. He had it all going from a striking standpoint tonight. Man, he did a great job. It was very entertaining to watch someone be in such a great state of flow, a great flow state in regards to the stand-up. He said that tonight we would be very impressed with his performance, and I am thoroughly impressed. The decision is in, it resides with Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score this contest. 48-47. For the winner, by unanimous decision, Bruce the Dragon Lee! All right, congratulations to him. He is your winner by unanimous decision and certainly a dominant performance here tonight. Yeah, he did a great job of just dictating and controlling all the engagements of this fight. His opponent never really had an opportunity to lead the dance. He did that from start to finish, and he 